I'm a potato. Oh, wait, we're live. Yay. Nep, nep. What's up, y'all? This is Kyo's Little Monster. I brought Slow with me. Uh, oh. We're going to do some nep, nep. Um, I'm not sure if anyone has seen this game before. Uh, I caught this, uh, I think, like last year for Japan or RTA in Japan. Uh, Oxwas was running it. Nep Lolly on it. He has like a million names. Good guy. But I started learning this run and I'm doing a glitchless category of it. So, uh, slow it. Tell me about this run. Tell the folks what they need to know about Nep. Uh, once upon a, a time, there were a bunch of anime girls. The end. Uh, nah, it's a good it's a good summary. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. We sound good. We looking good. We live yeah, Good um, The restreamer needs to change the timer to not be starting at three minutes and 37 seconds, but yeah, we're good for the most part Okay, I'll wait. Let me know when we're clear nap, 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 nap. Pudding. Actually, yeah, pudding Pudding is actually the final weapon we use in the run. Very good. All right. We are good to go? Yep, we are good to go. All right. I am set. Uh, so this is probably going to be pretty quick, pretty repetitive, but let's have fun. I'm going to start a new game here. Uh, and a three, two, one, go. Right, also, so we're running in Japanese audio, so enjoy. You guys wanted it, you got it. Please enjoy. Uh, for bonus points, an extra twenty dollars. Now we'll have Sloa singing the intro song. I didn't agree to this. I don't even know the lyrics, dog. You're on your own. <laughs> oh God, Monka S. But this game is basically um, with. As it comes with the the Neptunia dimension, um, it's very meta. It's very there is no fourth wall. The game is about them playing an MMORPG, which is kind of ironic because it's an MMORPG in itself. Um, so basically, you're just trying to figure out, you know, this MMORPG, and then there's like other people come from like other dimensions to try and take over the game. And then you meet up with the CPUs and. You know, standard standard nap stuff. But uh, the combat is really fun. I picked it up because it was just really fun. Like casually, it was a fun game. The speed run is is mildly repetitive, but requires pretty decent execution. As with uh, all nap games, there is also the ability to auto scroll text, which I really love. If you like. If you're just casualing, auto scrolling text is amazing. And then there's like the fast skip version, which is good. So you don't have to do anything silly. Uh, I think world record for this is like a 1 0 something. Um, there is actually the ability to skip cutscenes in this game with proper timing with a keyboard and mouse and controller. Uh, there's also a couple of weapon upgrade glitches that we will not be using in this run because it's a glitch and it shouldn't work that way. Nep is Sega. Yeah, that's the most important. Um, basically, we we going to build a computer out of waifus. Yeah, this game's, the NetNet games are pretty much just if game consoles were waifus. Yeah. To be honest, like they, they'll take a lot of flack, but if you don't take these games seriously, they're actually pretty fun. Like, they're actually pretty lighthearted, pretty fun, pretty interactive. You just have to deal with high-pitched voices for most of the game. I think this is actually the first time I've really sat and watched this opening intro instead of just like glazed over. Because <laughs> if you don't use the cutscene skips, you have to sit through this every time you start a run. So it's like two minutes of anime music video. So, but at least you get introduced to all the characters of the game. You'll be seeing a lot of them. When it comes down to it, Uni is the best girl in this run. We use her as the closer, basically. And she just becomes a massive damage dealer in the, the mid to late game. This, this is the part where I, I plug in about uh, where's, where's all my weebs in the chat? Yeah, where are the weebs? Weebs out. Yep. Yeah. 
Shout outs to Mutsky. Yeah. Here, here, you know, for the next two hours, you are not allowed to be a normie. You have to be a weed. There you go. I have an email for that, too. <laughs> All right. So there's your hot introduction to anime. And this is our little tutorial. Uh, basically, this is just going to get us equipped with you know, the knowledge to move around the game and use our spells or skills, uh, basic movement and kind of the targeting mechanics of the game. Um, it's it's pretty simple. This game's going to go fast paced. Basically, what we're going to do is we are going to knock out quests and we are going to get as just literally get to the bosses as quick as possible, break them and go to town. So this actually has a break mechanic kind of similar to uh, Octopath. I know you're familiar with that, but on so you'll on the the um, the enemy information screen, you'll have the top is the HP bar and then below that is the break bar, which makes them just like an Octopath. They don't do anything. They just kind of lay there and they are more vulnerable. They take more damage, lowered resistances and stuff. Normies out, weaves in. Oh. All right, time to move. Let's go. So, so real talk, if you guys are you guys watch a lot of anime, make sure to check out Shield Hero. Yeah, anime is actually pretty dope. Oh, Shield Hero? Yeah, Shield Hero. Okay, dope. I was just not hearing you because I just keep hearing Nep in my head. All right, so... <laughs> We're getting an introduction here from Bouquet that apparently Vert has a really big crush on. You'll see it happen a lot. Um, that basically we're looking to collect the four sacred treasures of the goddesses and they'll help us save the dimension. Hooray! Why? Oh. Because of the power of friendship. Why? Yep. Because anime. So there's our targeting mechanics and now we're going to teach about blocking and perfect guards. Um, Do you have you might... a minute? Yeah, I got a minute. Slower, I am so sorry for you. We have an we have a fifty, we have a twenty-four dollar donation by Shido. <laughs> so, uh, Slower, I feel terrible. I feel terribly sorry for you, but. All right. Well, this is where I take an exit stage left. <laughs> I don't know anything of the song, and I. I it's all right. Grab yourself, it. grab yourself the lyric sheet, dog. You got it. I'll pretend to sing along with you. Um. So there are, as you can see, one thing I really like about this game is you can actually menu while you're moving around um, and it keeps you locked into where you last left off. Um, a lot of, you're gonna see a lot of party swapping and a lot of tactics changes throughout the run as well as equipping characters and a bunch of other things. Uh, this is the first boss and you're gonna feel really bad when I tell you what it is because of your charity, but it's a big doggy and we gotta, yeah, just gotta, gotta do this. Sorry, brother. But, but if you guys donate, if you really put in exclamation point, donate. You know, cool, and we're done. We have one dollar equals one prayer. This poor dog. All right, that is dog you down. The first boss of many. So we're now going to go back to town, which is Wishel. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of work in Wishel. It's basically the base of our operations, where we pick up quests, where we resupply. But you're going to be, we have like these little kind of scenarios that we have to get through in order to um, advance the story, advance the plot, and unlock quests. So you'll see a lot of that. Um, another thing we're going to be hitting a lot is the cathedral. The cathedral offers buffs, basically. You, you know, you basically donate money for prayers that will give various um, buffs, sometimes random, as in the case of the first one we're going to grab here. Generally, it's just like strength plus five. And we're going to meet the guild master, who is the only dude in the game. I learned that like three streams ago. Like, yeah, Kiri is a cool dude. They're like, uh, yeah. Kiri is not a dude. Uh, no, the guild master's pretty dope. He, he hooks it up. All right, so we're now introduced from a different place. We're going to go to Logie Mountain. Um, there aren't many areas in this game, but that's fine. Uh, they are going to be the sources of where we get our quest done. Nice little dodge there. So basically, I picked up two quests from this guy. They're pretty simple, and we're using them 
basically we need to do a certain amount, complete a certain amount of quests in order to unlock the next level of quests, so, you know, move on, etc, etc. Um, what I am going to do is I need to get that guy. He has extra experience and sometimes drops the good stuff. Uh, what I have to do is I need to kill 10 of these skeleton guys and I need to get rid of five, count them, five goblins. Goblins are going to be green. Uh, all right, there we go. That's that. The only thing... Yep. Got to dry him out. Cool. So as you can see, we're basically just trying to spam as much damage in as we can. Uh, there are a few iframes in this game, intentionally programmed in, I guess. Uh, sometimes if you're using skills, you can abuse those. Uh, there are two skeleton guys here. I'm actually just going to take this guy. Um, because the guy with the red helmet next to him has a bit more defense and does a bit more damage and has a bit more health. And I just don't feel like dealing with it when I can just grab someone later. Uh, I guess we got the kill anyway, so we'll just keep moving on. Kyria, Kyria potentially is best girl, but I think Uni is still better. I also need to grab those, and I have enough SP. Dude, if you come in here with that Hifumi nonsense, I'm going to make you hang out with Seth. All right. Right there, we used a skill that adds uh, fire to our weapon. We need that because it gets rid of these goblins a little bit quicker. Uh, this game actually, surprisingly, has a fairly slow start. Uh, it just kind of kind of eases you into it. This means I only need to take out one of these, so I took out the skeleton down there, so just plow through him. And I'm going to start running already and just looking on the right side. Oop, nope, still one short. So I guess we didn't exactly get rid of him. There we go. Basically just waiting to see quest completed. There it is, completed quest objective. So the other thing that I need that it does happen occasionally is sometimes um, there should be a second group of goblins that should spawn over this little ridge over there, but it may or may not. So I'm just gonna try to take my time through here. There we go. He's gone and it looks like, hey, we got lucky they spawned. So I'm going to take this guy out here solo. I just need to keep an eye on my health and make sure nothing crazy happens. Get up in the air if I need to, and that should be it. To complete our quest, there's a couple of things I need to grab here that we're going to need later. The Hesty Fire Rock there, they sell for a decent bit of money. Uh, so we'll be able to buy more stuff. What's up, mages? How you doing tonight? Yeah, I can interact with chat too. Kiwis. Kiwis! Yeah, it's definitely a cute chat. Get your IAs in chat. Get your Neps in chat. I know there's a... I know uh, Naro has a few runs at ESA coming up this week. So get your Nep Neps. Shoutouts to all my NARB subs. And basically, we're just trying to head out of here. We also grabbed a Root of Lavander. Or no. Yeah, Leon Verde. Uh, basically, that is a... Kind of like a, a weak elixir. It's going to replenish our SP and HP. Uh, most of the run is just going to be MP management. Just, you know, try and stack up as much as we can. This is going to introduce us to like, hey, you made it through, congrats. This is obviously an anime. This is, this is not a game. It's a very yeah. interactive anime. It's, yeah, it's like a, it's a, it's an action RPG visual novel. But exactly. that teaches us about awakening. That's a skill we're really not going to use until the end of the run. And then we're going to abuse it to to all that is holy because we will need to. And I'll probably use safety strats. I didn't even run my timer. I don't care. I just got a, a nice PB earlier, 128. So, hey, there's Ox. All right. Cool. So a couple of story triggers. This is going to introduce us to the other CPUs. Um, you'll notice that they all look very alike, and that one has two. But basically, they're just the same things, just different classes. It's definitely anime inspired. Yeah, you could say that. Hey, uh, no, no. Obviously, anime can't take Natunia. Obviously, this is anime is Natunia inspired. Mind blowing. So we're going to meet the very lovely shopkeep. This man is my favorite man because he gives me all the things that I need. And we're going to go back to Logi. Uh, we have a quest. This is going to be like our first kind of boss. This is Blitzmate. Uh, you'll see that there aren't too many um, 
boss like uh boss or enemy models that's okay it's it's interesting so the uh the japanese version of this game is actually a lot easier because like they have a tenth of the hp or something ridiculously low like that so we're also going to see i'm going to change our party around a little bit here we're going to bring nepgear into the party we're going to bring uni into the party and we're going to bring rom into the party i'm going to swap to nepgear's lead she's going to be what i call the breaker her job is to come in and break the enemies as quickly as possible and then I need to set my items really quickly. Yeah, whatever, I'll throw those in there too. So how high would it be if I started to flame warp about who's best girl? What? So how bad would it be if I started to flame warp best girl? Uh, I don't know, you'd probably be wrong because Uni is the best girl. Although Oxwas is a big fan of Ram and, or, uh, Ram and Rom. So, I mean, that's that's a good choice, too. We do use ROM a lot in the early run. The early, the early half of the run. Trying to get her set. I'm just trying to grab these extra materials. Those little shining spots are like little materials. So you can use them for upgrades. Uh, I just sell them during the run because we don't need them for upgrades in the glitchless category. Um, we just need money so I can be more aggressive. <sighs> It's always good to have a chat for a marathon. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we got one NARB sub. Shoutouts to NARP. All right, this is Blitmate. So get used to this noise. Uh, you're going to hear it a lot. Uh, basically, what we're doing is we're just going to try and spam as many attacks as we can in order to get his break bar, which is the bottom of those two, to, uh, you know, break. I'm gonna be a little aggressive here, see if I can grab the one cycle, get Rom in there. And then just spam abilities. Just do as much damage as we humanly can. And then swap it back. These first couple of battle boss battles will be a little bit slow. Um, as we start to gain more levels, we will, uh, we'll be pretty okay. <clears throat> You'll see us start trucking through things a little bit easier. Well, cool, we done. So that is our first boss, Blitmate, out of the way. He pretty simple. Pandemonium strats. Cool. So we've now guild ranked up. That's important. We want to get our guild rank up very quickly. So we're just taking the bare minimum of quests or the ones that offer the best rewards in order to get that unlocked. So the next two, thankfully, are exploration quests. We're also going to hit up the gem shop. We're going to use these to uh, kind of buff our stats as we need to. So we're looking pretty okay there. I'm gonna get rid of those. Ten iron ore is pretty all right. I'll say a four, six, one, one. Not terrible. So I'm gonna buy four of these uh, power gems. I can't buy an element gem, so I'll have to come back for that later. That'll be a okay. We're gonna go to a roadie. So our next two quests are: we need to kill five gargoyles and five great turtles. I'm gonna equip everybody with these gems here. So the power gem, as you can see, is going to increase strength and intelligence plus 10%. I'm also going to change our tactics to go all out. Basically, we're in no danger of really dying here. So we're just going to, we just want to put the maximum amount of damage on things that we can as quickly as possible. Just get it in, get it out. So just hunting gargoyles. As you can see, I'm varying which spells I use. Um... When you lock onto a target, it thankfully gives you the weakness. Uh, gargoyles are weak to ice. Uh, sadly, the great turtles are not weak to any of the spells that we have. So we just kind of use whatever we can there and get on out. So that's three and two. Music, the soundtrack in this game actually is surprisingly good. Like for a game that probably isn't well reviewed besides just nap nap that was also a perfect time to get that level up i just run out of sp 
Uh, the charity's name is Go Rescue. Um, full name is Go Rescue uh, Animal. Animal. And there we go, both our quests are done. It's yeah. tracking. It's for tracking purposes, y'all. It's tax season. Alright. Go rescue. Yeah, it's, uh, Go rescue is a non-profit organization that helps out. Go ahead and pitch it. I got a menu to do. Uh, it's a non-profit organization that helps homeless animals uh, recover and find new homes. Um, so, yeah, the, the full name is Go Rescue um, Pet, Ado um, Pet Adoption Center. So it's, I'm looking for it's based in New York, not correctly. So this is a little risky. I'm very tight on money, so I am not running with a buff right now. So this might take us a little bit longer, and I'm going to have to grab a few items along the way here to try and try and beef up uh, what little cash that I have. Um, this is normal. This is just me being quick and not grabbing all of the things I exactly need. So, But we'll be fine. Don't worry. Everything is A-OK. -okay. You're in good hands. This is not my first rodeo. There we go. And now we're going to meet another... There we go. Oh, I also forgot to do this. There's a couple things I need to change really quickly. Just for safety. There we go. That's the only that's the only thing I can just get angry about is I always forget to change those settings. Uh, basically we're gonna we're gonna be using ROM here, but she has a better attack now, which doesn't use as much SP, and we can spam a little bit quicker. And we're gonna start abusing that now. And you also are going to see that we're going to swap to uni really quick and get off a few high-powered element shots really quick as well. And then back into breaking. So if you like speed games that have a, that demand like a lot of APM, very high APM, and monitoring multiple things at the same time, uh, this is definitely a fun speed run. It's also like inexpensive. I think it's like maybe 20 bucks on Steam. That's piece to row it done. Real talk. I actually thought about uh, doing some of the sort of games without the speedrun settings. Cool. This is the Chaos Factory. We'll come here three times. N minimum is two. I do it once. I'll do it at the end of the run for safety. But that's Kampa and IF. They are pretty cool. You also meet Tamsoft. We don't ever have to go to the blacksmith beyond this, so. But the Chaos Factory offers very weird items, weapons, and armor. Uh, they offer potions of protection, which revive your entire party. They also give you sources of life, which heals all active party members completely. So you'll see us use those at the end of the run. Cool. Our money situation should be in a little bit better shape, so I can grab this. I can grab, whoop, not those. But that many of those and we're gonna grab this last quest this should be the last quest for guild level two sacred stolen or stolen sacred treasure so we are off to a new area called yair forest it's pretty we're also gonna grab a gem for vert on our way running through here I'm gonna try and snag a couple extra things to sell off as well yeah, you can also run through the trees in this game. It's very strange. There's a, a couple of, like hard things you can't like run through, and the walls are a little particularly sticky. So you'll see some you'll see some movement later in the game that's kind of questionable. Um, it's just how it's kind of coded. You can tell where most of the physics engine went in this game. Um, I don't need to say it. Everybody in my chat knows that joke. All right, grabbing the Breath of Goddesses. Those are going to be great for us to sell in like 20 minutes. So, so real quick, we have a, we actually did, did get a donation. Roadkiller. Um, 
So twenty dollars says for the fuffers, please adopt. Thanks so yep. much for the donation. Let, let us know if you want. Uh, if you click on if you do explanation point incentives, you can see all the incentives in that. You can put that towards one of the incentives. Let us know which one you want towards if you like to. Does AI manipulation count as a glitch? No. No? Okay, well... Manipulation doesn't count as a glitch. Okay, so then this is fine. This is... Yeah, plush knows. So, what we're doing right now, this is actually an AI manipulation. Uh, if you stay a certain distance away from uh, Velocero's... Or... Volcelo... I can never pronounce this dude's name right. But uh, he just doesn't jump in the air as much, which is really handy, so we don't waste time. All right. So, here we go again. Bring everybody back in. Whew. I gotta tell you, if you get good at mashing, this game is really fun. Like I look at I look at it as menu practice because that's all that it is. It's just learning how to menu while moving. It's gonna basically tank these hits. I have no need to worry about you know dying. Just tank him because he's not gonna do anything. Personally, when, when it comes to RPGs, being someone that mostly runs RPGs, I will I do have to say though that action RPGs are definitely a lot more interesting turn based. Yeah, when it comes to speed run stuff, for the most part, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Because it requires, like, there is no, like, kind of, like, oh, I'll just think about what I'm doing. You just just have to pull the trigger and go. Exactly. It's de definitely more intense, and that's what I like, them, like about Yeah, shout-outs to, shout to my boy, Loraldi Locks. He, um, he's got a, he's got a rescue pupper at home. She's a, she's a doll, Ruby. Be careful, she's a licker! <laughs> All right, I don't have to do that, but I do need to do these event markers. Get that done. Yep. So these, this event is very important. It ends up giving us four uh, potions of protection. I'm going to try and not use those as much as I can. Uh, basically, they revive all, all downed party members. Uh, so I want to save those for the end of the run where it's a lot more important that I need their damage output. Um, you're also going to be introduced to one of the characters that is not in the game, but is definitely in a couple of other Cyber Dimension Neptune or other Neptunia games. We're going to see Uzume here. Uh, I really like Uzume. I think I was playing use, mainly use, using her in uh, Victory 2. She's really cool. She has sound guns. She's like a cool version of Lucio. All right, so we're going back to Yair Forest. Uh, I have a quest to knock out three mellow cats and four blue chocobos. I'm also going to swap over. We have some new weaponry. And boy, is it going to make a damage difference because we're going to be able to one shot skill kill these guys and get in and out. Also, I take that level. So my experience is at least in the right place. I'm getting, I'm getting the things that I need at the right point. So everyone's alive. Everyone is doing well. Ah. Give me both. Give me both, please. I'm also, while I'm waiting for these to move, I'm going to equip the Scroll of Return. Uh, it's not, like, the most useful item, I guess, unless you're dying. Scroll of Return does exactly what it says it does. It removes you from combat um, and just teleports you back to Wishel. Um, there are little, if you've been noticing, like, little blue circles on the map with a ring around them. Those are also things you can use to teleport yourself home. Um, so, I mean, I think the concept is kind of lost on me. But they will stay in there because they will end up saving time. This is actually dangerous. Gotta move. That was almost not good. Those Mandragoras explode, and the way things work in this game, you get a little buffered there in a way. I'm also going to grab this for extra money. Quest completed. That is cool. We have Yair Forest done. So I can turn in both of those quests. <laughs> And then we'll have one more in rank three, I believe. I also have a couple events to knock out. We're going to meet Black Cat Princess, a.k.a. Karoniko. She is the Black 
black cat princess. She claims to be one of the best in four goddesses online. She thinks she is the best. Her and Kiria are obviously in cahoots. I'm swing by our boy Pierre. I'm gonna buy his elder tree sap. I live off this stuff. It is so delicious. If you guys haven't tried it, I recommend. I'm gonna grab two protect gems and one stamina gem as well. And we're gonna make it back to Logie Mountain. We gotta go meet up with Blitmate again. It's time to talk to our boy Blitmate. Um, I guess I'll just have to do that because I actually ended up not having to use that root. Normally we use the use the root of uh, Lean Vaird, but we did not have to this time, so that's a positive. I'll just do it like that. And then I need to equip the girls. Uh, Vert is going to get the Stamina Gem. And then Uni and Rom are going to get Protect Gems. I think I forgot to grab some gems along the way. I definitely did. Oh, well, we'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. Ox, what did I mess up? <laughs> I know I'm missing a gem, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. Cool. So we have to go meet Blitmate again. This is the version two. He's a little bit stronger. He is a little bit faster. Uh, I guess he's kind of like the $6 million robot man in a way. But it's not a bad time. There we go. Grab some of those. What you got, Sloa? Uh, I was gonna say this real quick. Um, you guys do your don donations. Uh, do that for me. Make sure you hit the explanation for incentives. Um, and make sure to put in the incentives into the into uh, what you want the money to go to your, on the incentives wise. If you're not really percent sure, just you know, just kind of. You could just say, you know, have us choose or something. That we, you know, but we, we do like to get some kind of information in there to put so we can help try to like, meet the you know, meeting center. So it's more interesting. Oh, absolutely. Definitely use your incentives, kids. Okay, I was trying to figure out exactly what. So if you get good enough, you can almost one round this guy. And it looks like we got pretty close there. So the goal is you want to try and you should at some point eventually be able to almost one round these bosses, which is pretty nice because you don't have to go through cycles. You don't have to swap characters. You just kind of get back and do your thing. Uh, this is incredibly dangerous. So hopefully I don't die. Oof. Wow. That's bad. It's fine. We'll just run back and do it. All right. Fix this really quick. Cool. Haven't had that happen in a while, but let's go back. There we go. My AI manipulation did not work properly. <laughs> So we got four, nine. Yeah, this is fine. I can easily fix this. This is not a big deal. Besides, I couldn't. You know, I don't want to put us too far ahead of schedule now, do I? Just reset the run. I mean, I can, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll just put those in there. That would be fine. It's better to be. It's better to be ahead. Than I mean, the the silly part is, is realistically, I do have enough time saves that I still could realistically PB. <laughs> at this point it's crazy hey it's what happens as you're learning a run you get better at it and think about different ways to do things true yeah it's better to to be ahead than behind because if we're too far ahead we can always just think that if we're too far behind it's kind of hard to yeah there's not much you can do yeah so it's always better to be ahead yeah right ahead of schedule don't worry i'm just gonna intentionally die a couple of times I actually died because I was trying to adjust my fan, which is under my desk, and I forgot to attack, so I was just using items instead of doing damage, and I lost <laughs> control of his aggro for a little bit, so that's on me. 
it it got really warm in my room. All right, so here yeah, we go. Let's do Blitmate again. All right, had to schedule a marathon. What is this rubbish? Yeah, slow. It definitely didn't didn't do this. <laughs> hey, do you want to drop an everyone ping? Just letting them know that we're ahead of schedule. Hold on. I will I will react with don't at me slow. I swear don't make me do it Yeah, I don't know what his deal is. He is aggroing a little bit differently right now There we go, I did it Let's take a jazz game. I mean Unfortunately, we didn't get it like I think I had, I had asked the fantasy star and not she was kind of I would have been kind of close to see Man, he has not been nice yeah the other thing we rely, we rely on is he'll like randomly get like stunned halfway through like his breakdown period so we'll be fine there we go. We at least the positive is we saved all four of our potion and protect, so I can be like dumb aggressive at the end of this run. It's just a question of of money, because I'm down money again. So we'll figure out a way to bring that back. I'm gonna talk to this mysterious figure. You keep see, keep seeing this figure. They're uh, quite mysterious. We'll learn more about them as we go through. <laughs> Such great story. Oh, story. Yeah, great story. <laughs> Nerd. Hey, look, Cinder, that's not a nice thing to say. You, you at least say a, you're freaking nerd, okay? Yeah, heckin' weeb. Yeah, heck Alright, so here's part of the time save, by the way. I, uh, Ox showed me that I was doing something the incorrect direction. So, free 15 second time save coming up here. The AI controlled units actually do a decent bit of damage, and you'll see that in the uh, in the end game. Like, they're, once you get them set up properly with the correct tactics, they'll do 15 to 20,000 damage in, like, in action, which is pretty, pretty good rate. Ah, oh, Pebble, that's literally exactly what I did not want. Hey, there's a big doggoo. Hey, big doggoo. Bye, big doggoo. Yeah, uh, I saved that one. I was looking out for him. We are going to uh, meet up Shuttle Mate here. He is a... Uh, he has potential to be, be a bit of a troll, but I think we should have him covered. Biggest troll is actually the snake that's coming up. He will hit you literally every time. It does not matter what you do. Ooh, except that time. Uh, nope, he hit somebody. <laughs> Weebs in chat. Ay, ay, ay. Weebs out. Weebs out. In chat, in full force. Let's go. Yep, exactly. All right. So, shoot all mate is... Uh, he can be very aggressive and just for some reason decide that he wants to aggro you and only you. Uh, it's not a good time. It's really not a good time. So you just try and keep your distance as best as you can and hope that he doesn't move all over the place. Okay. Uh, one, one thing I say, if, you, if you're a true, true, obviously donate to Nerf, which is allowed to support your rescue, which I is a non-profit organization. You know, the dogs, you know, you get to other Who does animals. not love dogs? How do you, how do you not love dogs? They even made a movie about it must love dogs. Well, that's probably because dogs don't like them because they're a bad person. Yeah, like, Almost got that one cycle. If you're, if you're truly an anime lover, you would donate to make this so loud. <laughs> Come on, someone else take the, take the aggro because he is grinding me. Let's go. I'm just gonna try and be safe here. I don't want to risk another death for silliness. So there we go. 
I'll take my time, use my last healing item, and just try and get this damage in. There we go. I just need someone else to hold him in place. <laughs> it's very hard not to just want to go in full bore on that, but you got to do what you got to do. Cool, that's done. So as we get further and further into the run, it gets a little bit safer. Like that's really the last kind of nail biter in the run, in my opinion. After this point, we're gonna start to level fairly rapidly and our damage is going to increase with that. So the GM here comes and, not the GM, the uh, mysterious figure comes and talks to bless you. Kidia and Black Hat Princess and says, Hey, 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 I have these really cool things for you. You should try it out. You could be the best at four goddesses online. We're going to take the best quest, which is a tough cute. Uh, it's a pretty simple one. We're going to visit the Chaos Factory as well. And they have a weapon I need, which is the Lantern Rod. And then we got to talk to Tamsoft. She's going to just remind us like, hey, you can do all these cool things. And we're gone. So back to Logie Mountain, we have this one quest to knock out, and then we're going to start to uh, really pick up the pace of this run. Um, the biggest thing we got was we got a Lantern Rod for Nep, and we got Pudding for Uni. Pudding is very important in this game, and yeah, and it's very important to the run. That is a big damage boost for Uni, um, and you'll see it really start to pay off as we start utilizing her more and more. Um, as someone who is going to be dealing a lot of damage once we've broken enemies' resistance. So, once again, I'm just going to chase four mellow cats here. I don't, I don't know why this is even considered, like, a, a level four quest, because they're, like, level two or three enemies, if that. But that's what we need to do, so we'll take it. It also has some pretty sweet rewards too, so I'm not worried about that. I'm kind of thankful it's routed that way. So we got another donation from Cinder Phoenix. My boy Cinder. Uh, Six dollars and ninety cents, saying "Love all the doggos." So that's what he just love all the doggos. And yeah, thank you, Cinder. To go somewhere, let us know. Can we get some rumors in chat for our Ryukwets Coddle subs? <laughs> All right, we're done with that. I'm gonna grab this and we're out. So that's it with Logie. Now we have what I call the first kind of bigger menu. Uh, I'm gonna be pretty much dumping my entire inventory right now in order to finance the purchase of a few new wonderful things. I guess I can get rid of that because I'm not gonna need it. Yeah, I got five eyes of Nagi, that's handy. I haven't sold any of this stuff, so. All right, so, so you got you got cho two choices: you do the Garnet alternate co uh, costume or Hive alternate costume. What am I doing? Uh, oh, Cinder. Ah. So it's somewhere to something that the same goes into. There we go. Cool. Or nap nap. All right, so we now have to fight Beast to Roll again. This is actually gonna be the first time now that we've buffed up Uni, we're gonna unleash her and you're gonna start to see large chunks of damage being done. Uh, from this point forward, Uni is going to be basically our, our strict main damage dealer uh, until she gets to a high enough level where she will just be, that's it. It's just her. It is done, Cinder. Uh, oops. There we go. That's better. That's more responsible, like. Like a kangaroo? Yeah, except it, it's it, if so the English uh, voice acting uh, there are a lot of different lines for when Nep jumps. Uh, one of them is 
I'm a kangaroo! Uh, for some reason, uh, my chat always finds it necessary to tell me that. Oh yeah, the HGH command. Hey, did you guys know that Happy Gamer Harlinson is a great friend, person, supporter, and mod? He is there whenever you need him. Uh, I definitely need Uni alive here. So this is one of the one of the things that's kind of difficult to track is you need to make sure that your other party members aren't dead when you need to swap to them. Uh, ooh, I didn't know I could do that. It cuts down the cooldown time too. That's fabulous. All right, well, I just learned something. Always learn something mid run when you make a mistake. People ask where do you find all these cool tricks? Huh? Mistakes mostly. So as you saw, Uni's now doing like three to four thousand damage uh, a crack, which is really nice. <sighs> Have to waste another potion here. Um, I dislike using them early because it makes the end game a little bit riskier when I don't have anything to kind of rely on. So it kind of is what it is, but we'll deal with it. Uh, you'll also notice that I try and keep Uni in the air. Uh, for some reason, her attack rate is faster when she is in the air. Don't ask me why, it just is. And Neps is like faster when it's on the ground. And I equipped high slide. So now this is the, the point where uh, the game actually becomes Final Fantasy 15. Uh, if anyone knows, I used to run that. Um, but it's actually going to turn into Final Fantasy 15 now, which makes it uh, immediately a better game. I gotta go talk to Kyria first. Him and I need to have a serious discussion about his behavior. Her. Darn, you're right. But the ability that we quipped. Um, on Vert. Yeah, thanks, Tordalis. Um, is actually really handy. It's called High Slide, and as you can see, it gives us a massive movement speed increase. So it's pretty much basically the same thing as Warp Striking in Final Fantasy 15. So, of course, I'm going to abuse that at every turn that I can in order to get across the map faster. And usually when you're moving that fast, you're also going to be a lot safer. Um, as you notice, the uh, girls don't actually, like, directly follow you. They just kind of teleport to your location um, if you move too far ahead. So having that ability is pretty handy. Don't mind my cat. He's just being annoying. If anyone's curious, his name is Andor. Don't believe his lies. Uh, oops. Hey, there we go. So, standard Eldamot, he is pretty easy. As long as you're out of that little circle of damage, everything is literally going to be fine. I just need to make sure that nobody dies. So this guy, for some reason, his uh, mechanics are not, not very solid. He just kind of stands there and does damage and doesn't really care what you do. As long as there's something in front of him, he will be perfectly content to stay in place and do nothing. You're also going to see me change that to hope to push a little bit more damage here. And, you know, if you guys don't care too much for, you know, Kios's cat, what you could not instead is you could donate to No Bushes Allowed to help out the daughters instead. <laughs> Please. Uh, if, if you donate to my cat, I'm just going to have to buy more furniture. Oh, you brought your bot in, too. Yeah. Oh, that's what I've been having to use this whole time. Nice. Because for some reason, Nightbot or Moobot, whatever it is, can... so I had to bring in my bot. Yeah, it's... A lot of things have really been having issues as of late. And there we go. Uni is officially doing over 5,000 damage, which is really nice per shot. Yeah, my cat's a bit of a jerk. I wish I'd gotten a dog instead, but I also wouldn't be home enough to take care of it, so I was responsible and decided that I didn't want to do that. And we're just going to not make any mention of that scene or illustration, and that's fine. It's gone now. Don't worry about it. Monka TOS. TOS. Cool. So now we're going to talk to Kuroniko. What? PG-13 stream. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a PG-13 game. I know, I was making a joke. 
Cool. So we're going to grab the base of the world tree. Um, I'm having a moment here. Just going to restock on everything pretty quickly here. Uh, as you can see, I've now also started kind of prioritizing which items I'm using in a certain way. Um, basically for movement, I'm going to use the elder tree saps because I can just spam those uh, as quickly as I can. I'm also going to get this set up. I'm going to have a little introduction like, hey, here's a new place. Wow, it's so cool. I'm going to take Uni's Protect Gem off. She's now going to get the Assault Gem, which is going to further increase her damage capabilities. And we are now just basically, for the rest of the game, we're just going to Warp Strike over everything. This is Chapter 5 all over again in No Ring. Well, so we're going to meet a dude called Ulgadius. Um... And these two are going to release some some mean things on the game now that they have the ability to kind of mess around with it. That hooded figure has, has given them the ability to change how the game operates. Um, so we're going to be tasked with a few different things here. Yeah, so they're they're cheaters and cheaters. Cheaters are no fun, man. You know what also is cheating? Using glitches. This runs in Valor. Where is there a glitch? I was making a joke. Oh. Uh, I mean, I can <laughs> probably show one off. I was, I was making a joke because he was saying cheaters. Yeah, the glitches is cheating. That's the joke. Oh! Alright, so I'm a little out of position here. I want to actually be pretty close to this guy because he doesn't do as much damage or have the potential to. And we broke him anyway. So that's all we need to do. We're going to swap to Vert. And we're going to wait. So basically now they're going to do something very strange. We just fought that boss. He wasn't he wasn't too strong, I guess. You know, we, we, we wiped through him pretty, pretty quick. Um, but now we're going to continue. And they have filled the rest of the area with them. So they just stacked a bunch of boss battles on top of us. Obviously, if you're not doing a speedrun, you can choose to fight them, and the experience is great. You get a bunch of experience and a lot of good drops from these guys uh, for the upcoming difficulty increase. But us, we just we just want to get the heck out of here, man. I got dinner on the stove. Exactly. You want to go fast. Absolutely necessary to be going fast right now. Exactly. All right, so now they're going to notice that, hey, things are weird, so we're just going to go to the guild, and we're going to knock out some of these little guard quests. Uh, some of the town guards have little quests for us, and we're going we're gonna to help them out. So this one is very simple. It's literally a fetch quest. Um, we are just going to find some rainbow stones, and we need to find three of them. And, you know, it just so happens that I am lucky enough to know exactly where these three stones are every time. They may or may not be in places that we've already been to, which are very important to quests. So there's one. This game is also one of the reasons why I decided I should finally learn Nier, because it is very input heavy. So why not challenge myself? All right, so I'm now going to break the mold of what I usually do. Um, what, I, what we've been doing is saving the crystalline waters for Uni and the elder tree saps for Vert. I'm just going to spam the crystalline waters into Vert so we can get just continue to move at an extremely high rate of speed in order to get this over and done with and back out of here. So we got our third one. That's it. It's all three. That's one quest completed. We need to knock out three of these really quickly in order to progress the story. Uh, I'm looking at it. Mithra looks a lot like Vert. Who does? Mithra from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yes, yes, they definitely do. They definitely look a lot alike. I did make a little boo-boo quick. I'm going to fix that. There we go. So we're now going to fight the big boy version of Volserios, the flying guy. Thankfully, due to the, I guess, we'll say that they spent their budget on maybe animations or the physics system. Uh, they really didn't make super complex AI for this game. They're just basically just reskins with more health and they do more damage. So 
Like I said, I think there's only one or two skin changes in the entire game, if that. But as from now on, Uni is going to be the one that is doing the damage for us. Uh, she's going to be working the breaks as well. And we're just going to keep her in this position because it's comfy. You know, she does a good rate of damage. She can take care of herself. And for the most part, I can stay out of the way of most attacks. And as long as I keep myself fed properly. Uh, I missed it just by a little bit. And I am going to do something really quick here. If we get the level, we did. Do a little, that is a glitch that does nothing now. That's just an audio glitch because I, you can force oh, it. Glitch, glitch. Oh, I glitched it, reset. Yeah, now that one you can trigger intentionally. It doesn't do anything besides make an annoying noise. Very nice. All right, so we're gonna restock on everything here. Uh, I'm going to talk to Kiryu. He's going to get ringed. She. I, I'm still learning that, sh that she's a she. I apologize. All right. So we need to talk to Kuroneko one more time. And we're going to we're basically kind of asking them like, hey, what's the deal with this? Why you got what's what's going on? We've noticed some sneaky stuff. Cool, but we've now unlocked Hestia Crater. We are actually past the halfway point in this run. What's our time looking like out of curiosity? 53, yeah, we, oh, okay. That wasn't supposed to happen, but. That, um, that is actually a, a potential for a glitch. But you have to be very precise. So I just let it go. I don't want to be that guy sneaking stuff in. Watch the only qualm I have with this game is um, the some of the coding in the levels is a little sketchy. Um, like, you can't actually jump down there. <laughs> what? The, pro the thing where you just, like, launched up? Yeah. That was a weird proxy. It, it does have uses. I haven't figured out practical ones because there's an invisible wall in the way, but I assume there's a way up or around it. But hey, we're fighting the bigger version of Beastarol. It's Beastaroa. They also got very clever with the names in this game. Ah, just missed it. Yeah, now we're up to doing about 10,000 damage a shot, so... It's getting it's getting pretty good. We're starting to stack up. We're starting to get beefy. Uh, while I have the chance, I should finish this off. So basically, what I'm doing is I am forcing um, Rom to use all of her most powerful attacks whenever we switch to go all out. So she becomes a little bit more of a damage potential as well. We're just basically trying to squeeze every little bit of damage we can out of these girls. Yo, is that my boy Mutsky? No, Speaking of my Mutsky. favorite weebs. Yeah, thank you, brother. How you doing tonight? Show some love for our boy Mutt. He uh, he is a big anime fan. I've convinced him to run this game. Snouts out, boys. All right. All the snouts out for the puppers. Can we get some wowies in chat? Wowie. I'm gonna use a big boy buff here. We need it coming in. Buff. I yep. buffs. So for the most part, we just use Rousing Courage, which just gives us like a little little bump to our damage. Uh, two sides of a coin is I think it's plus 15 or 20 percent um, to intellect and strength, which increases a lot of damage, but it's uh, minus 10 percent HP. So it, it is two sides of a coin, um, but it's it definitely makes a big difference damage wise. Two, 
three, four, five. If you do it right, you shouldn't even touch the ground. Can we, can we march? Now I need to sub to, to Musky because he has like the best, best sass emote. Yeah, he's got a pretty good sass emote. Yeah, uh, obviously Nia is the best girl. not fighting. Ma, when are we, we going to get a meta slob as an emote? Yeah, we're saving mutts here. If you need saving, please let us know. We are saving all the mutts. <laughs> Mutt is free to a good home in Canada, preferably next to his uh, his girl, Metatron. So, if you get this pattern, which is really nice, the boss doesn't actually do any damage to you, so it's pretty handy. Uh, Musky, I see you are a man of good taste. I own Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I've yet to play it. I'm a terrible person. All right, here is your quick drink break. If anybody needs to get up, get a snack. Some Maybe some solo back-to-school shopping. Uh, Shout-outs to Letterkenny. <laughs> But spilling sauce on herself. <laughs> it's cute. Is uh is M making it out to limit break, Mutt? Like, thing is about Pyre is like she's so she's like as interesting as a two white boy. I I really find Pyre being very very boring character. Oh, uh, by the way, Kiria and Black Cat Princess are now like they did the uh, like the Super Saiyan fusion. Um, so they're now Cheetah. I'm not sure how this works or why, but there it is. This guy is a big jerk. He probably smells bad too. So we're just going to continue using the same strategy we've been using. Uh, I do have to do some quick menuing after this though, because we're going to start re-equipping. And after a short story, we're going to meet the rest of the CPUs. You might want to ban that, Sloa. That's inappropriate, and you should feel bad about yourself. I'll give him a timeout. No, that is not a good... That is not... That is not an appropriate way to be saying... Like, in anyone's chat. So please do not use that word. I will give you a warning for now, but if I see it again, I'll ban you. Can we get the one cycle? One cycle. Very nice. Oh, cool. Vert's, Vert's missing a gem. It's not going to matter because we're going to re-equip anything every, every way. All right, cool deal. So that is a one cycle. That's actually a little bit trickier to get. Um, but we got it. So that's fine. Uh, we are now done. I need to... Whoa, hey, I'm in the run. I got everything done backwards, but it's actually pretty quick. All right, cool. Wow, dude, somebody needs some help. Somebody needs a timeout is what they need. Uh, that's really cute, bud. That, that's that's the man you get a time out. It's all right. Give that give that one a ban. Yeah. We'll just ignore it and move on. <laughs> so, Friendly if you just saw what happened, Friendly Labor Dreamer is wondering about the pace. Sorry for the interruption. Who is uh, wondering about the pace? Me, friendly, friendly neighborhood restreamer. Um, I'm probably running on like a. I had one death, so we're probably looking like a 131 at this point. Um, maybe a so only like 23 minutes. Oh, I'm 24 minutes underestimate. I got really good at this game within the past two weeks. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to be ahead. We're going to be ahead of schedule by around 40 minutes at this point. Oh boy. Uh, I can I can show off bridge skip in near very badly if anybody's interested. Automata, yeah, <laughs> that's like the first thing I learned. Bridge is oh yeah, which which one's bridge skip again? No, that's crane skip. I'm playing bridge skip. Yeah, bridge skip is actually pretty tough. I, yeah. I remember actually learning that trick. That trick took me like hours to learn. <laughs> I bet he likes Fortnite. Wow, Larry. <laughs> Look, we're trying to be nice to people here. You yeah. can't go around telling people that. Yeah. 
to, to be fair, yeah. Like, I, I understand the guy was in the wrong, but that doesn't need to criticize. Do not, not belittle him in any way. <laughs> Yeah, like, that's stepping over the line, you know? Like, that's you can't just go ahead and, like, call and tell people they would like uh. Fortnite. <laughs> like... Yes. Wow. Yikes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, shout out to Ahego Waffle. That's kind of funny. Alright, so this is turned in. We now have Story City. We're gonna talk to Bouquet. Uh, who was, if you saw, she actually turned color and became one of the GMs. Uh, so sh the, the CPU was taken over by a, a GM trying to save the game. They noticed there was a series of hacks going on and they basically needed to shut the, uh, shut the server down and evacuate everybody safely. So they're now getting lectured because they didn't do a good enough job. And hey, look at that. The CPUs are here. Purple heart, white heart, black heart, and green heart. And we are going to make immediate use of them. Coming into Unreal World, uh, we will meet. We're going to come together to make Captain Planet, obviously. Yes, absolutely. Rainbow heart. Um, each, of the, each of the CPUs has an interesting personality, I guess. <laughs> um, especially White Heart, she is foul-mouthed and hilarious in my opinion because I find that funny. And I'm sure they're, they're more they're more interesting than Pyre, that's for sure. Yep. <laughs> so this finishes our little little story side quest. This is like what I would call like Story City in FF9 or Plot City rather. Even though it's the same city that we always have, this is like the biggest chunk of story that we go through. So now there's an invasion and we're gonna have to go track down the mysterious figure, AKA the hacker. Uh, I do have to buy a f buy and sell a few things first, so we'll knock that out quickly. Uh, I gotta go grab this Rousing Courage. I'm gonna top up on all of my, uh, my tree sap, my crystalline water, and my leaves. So we're full on those and I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff here. I don't need this. Uh, this can go. Get rid of that. These don't need them. They're cute, but not necessary. Ooh, double 1200s there. I'm selling everything except the life gem because I'm just going to buy a whole bunch of new ones to better equip my party, and I can get rid of these early. Uh, I also need to get better armor for Vert just to make sure she doesn't die, and I need four of these, four of these, and I'm going to be... You know what? I... Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm way too short. I'm not going to risk it. Okay, so I'm just going to short someone on the equip, and I will grab it before we reach the end of the game. Cool. So this is going to be a lot of menuing going on. Uh, I'm going to be swapping out party members like crazy. Nepgear is going to be going out for Purple Heart, and Ram is going to be going out for Green Heart. Uh, I also need to change the equipment. Everyone is going to get spirit. Um, she's still missing something. I don't know what. Uh, should be an element gem, maybe, or a protect gem, whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out and slot something in to make it work. It's probably a protect gem. Can I have winter John Spring? Well, just come to Florida. Easy. Oops, that's the wrong direction. That's fine. This is what happens when I have to kind of think on my feet. We'll be fine. Once I get everybody equipped properly. There we go. Hey, Demon Bot 334 said if you guys would like to donate, use exclamation point donate to help all the doggos. So I will finish that protect gem. I only need one life gem, so I'm short about 3,000, which is okay. Uh, Vert is going to get that protect gem, and this is fine. Now we can get out of here quickly. We're going to lose probably like 30 seconds to my PB here just because I was able to get all the menuing done properly and on time. I'm going to slide in, and this is the Grim Reaper who is being controlled by the mysterious figure. Uh, the more he runs, the more aggravating this gets, so I just need him to stop running. Thank you very much. Uh, Vert is a level below where I want her to be. We should be okay. I'm not actually worried about if she makes it or not. I am worried the fact that I only have 77 HP really quick. Yes. 
Yeah, it was a little bit lower than I wanted it to be. So, so I wanna honestly ask, that, why does this dude look like he's from freaking SAO2? <laughs> there may or may not be similarities and pop culture references completely covering this game. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying. I mean, both most of these um, most of these characters are based off of like game consoles and computer components anyway. Oh, of course, I know that. All right, so I'm going to now change some of our setups here really quickly before we get going. This will increase massively our damage damage done during break setups. So that is fine. Now we have like a little mini boss rush to go through. We're gonna have three quests to knock out really quickly. And they're basically the final form versions of the same three bosses we've been killing over and over. We have the Eldmate, the Volserios, and uh, I think we have a, what do we have? We have oh, El Mirage, I believe. So I'm sorry to tell you, that is incorrect, but it's a good try. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna skip buying stuff. I'm just gonna... Would you leave the potatoes alone, Andor? Dude, so here's a here's a here's a topical story. Here's a great topical story. Shelby found these things a couple years ago where for Valentine's Day, this dude would mail you potatoes and he'd just like write stuff on them. So I got her a bouquet of a dozen potatoes um, and she hasn't put them away yet because it's, it's hilarious, quite frankly. Um, and our cat just really likes to knock them on the floor and play with them. Uh, she's asleep, so I'm gonna have to do this myself. Shelby is definitely the best waifu. That's yeah, that's why we're getting married. Futaba is best waifu. He's best girl. So the one thing I am going to have to keep an eye on is my MP usage here. Um, just because he's not really cooperating here. Uh, it, this one is a little trickier. For some reason, the AI seems different on this guy. I have trouble forcing him to stay in one spot. There we go. All I need to do is break him at this point and transfer over to a better damage cap, and we're fine. Party off to Vert. Kawakami. Dude, Becky is gross. She is my wife, Larry. We've lived together since the day we met. All right, so I'm going to turn this in really quick just so I can restock, and then I'll skip the uh, the last two. So I definitely need to get myself some of those. There we go. Uh, I'm going to skip Rousing Courage, so I'm just not going to need it. Actually, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it really quick. But I am at least catching up on my money, which is what I, what I want to see. I want to be caught up, and I need to remember to grab a life gem before we head out. Thankfully, yours truly was smart enough to leave himself a few chests here that I'm going to grab on the way that aren't aren't the greatest, but it's just a couple little things that might be able to seal up the gap that I have with money right now. Everything counts, Larry. We play for keeps here. Almost fell off the map there. That'll happen occasionally. This will also help us out. Cool. I don't think that's how that works. Take your word for it. Nah, it definitely doesn't work that way. I need to move. There we go. And we are going to be smooth and smooth here. Mirage L is actually pretty easy to break. The only big problem with him is he has a lot of HP. So getting that one cycle is a little bit tricky. I don't even know if it's possible with this setup. Ooh, I guess it is. There we go.
Cal. It's all done. Rousing courage, and we're off to a roadie for the last one. Cavern is fun because we literally, this is just like the, uh, it's pretty much the same thing as the earlier Rainbow Stone quest that we did. It's just how fast can you go? But this time we're just going to kind of straight line it directly to the boss. Actually, if you notice, I went so fast that I ended up despawning the enemies and completely despawned the map somehow. I've never had that happen, but I will have to look into it because that makes life a lot easier. <laughs> And same thing, just go right in with the element shots. We will see a strategy change coming up very shortly uh, once we start getting a little bit more power here. Okay, I was going to say, I hope he starts moving, otherwise I broke something. <laughs> what can I say? It's, it's, a, it's a compile hearts game, which in the immortal words of Gulo 2, uh, should bear as a warning and not so much as an endorsement. <laughs> Yeah, I I literally just somehow managed to despawn everything. Probably just movement speed. Interesting. Yeah, it it happens occasionally. All right, so that's all of our quests done. I'm gonna turn the last two in. We're gonna have ruthless Rondo, and this is kind of like the last of the uh, super boss rush Johns in this area. I'm gonna go to Pierre's. We're gonna top up on a few things here. Even though we really don't need to, and I probably should start shorting myself a little bit. Grab this rousing courage. And we are back to Onyero Corridor. And we will knock out Mirage L again. Also, there's a weird mechanic where you can just kind of bop on top of the enemies and just bounce off of their heads. It's rather strange. I'm not sure what uh, purpose it serves, but... using a little bit of the ceiling there to correct my uh, direction. I basically just don't want him hitting me directly. That's all you have to do at this point in the game is just avoid pulling full aggro and you're fine. It's just like being it's just like you are literally the DPS and you pray that the rest of your party can keep the enemies occupied uh, long enough to just do what you have to do to get it done. There we go. So if you notice, I was able to do all the things that I normally do, which includes swapping our tactics while in midair, not losing any height. So this guy is still sadly, ooh, super close to being able to get one shot or one rounded, but we'll survive, not terrible. I don't think I've ever pulled off a one round unless you get ridiculously lucky with damage, but that's good enough right there. Back to Vert. The big thing is the girls are staying alive. I'm gonna need, um, we need to get up to level 40, 48 before the end of the run. Um, so that's super good. Keeping everybody alive, very important. Turn him Ruthless Rondo. There is one more event with Bouquet. And then we're going to go to Chrono Wasteland. And this is basically basically the start of the final descent to the end of the quote-unquote story. And then it plays like some, some music. And then it's like, oh, wait, but it's not over yet. Basically, we are chasing the Mastermind down, revealing who they are. Who would do such a thing to the wonderful Four Goddess online community? It was obviously... Curly. It's obviously that cutie with wings on her head. She got head wings. It's obviously Kirby, because it's the only mastermind that can ever put something up. <laughs> We're going to grab two sides of the same coin. Another big boy buff here. We got a decent fight coming up. <clears throat> While I have the chance, I'm also going to grab this life gem, which will probably kick us in the butt later, because I'll need it. But that's fine. We are going to go to Chrono Wasteland. And I'm going to equip it really, really, really quickly. This needs to go to Purple Heart. And we are just going to go. Um, there is one neat trick in here. 
Uh, you've seen my complaining and probably a little bit of lackluster movement here and there. Uh, and that's because some of the way the walls are constructed are a little weird and the invisible walls surrounding them are a little weird. Uh, Slow can yell at me if he, if he doesn't like this, but uh, if you jump over here, I don't think it's a glitch. It's just poor level design. Probably it's just poor level design. You'll see. I'm missing it. There's this unicorn in the way. It's such a pretty unicorn. Need a yeah, all of a sudden I can't do it. Basically, this is just avoiding a cutscene. Uh, even in the even like fully updated, it still exists. So I don't know like what they were doing with it. All right, but hey, we got to fight Cheetah again, you know, because Cheetah's back. The mastermind. The mastermind was like, hey, by the way, they're uh, they're still out there. You might want to go and get them. Yeah, I got it first first try of my PB. It's more of a timing thing than it is really a positioning thing, unless you're really off. There is a the potential for a one cycle here. Damage is looking like it's good. Ooh, just short. That's all right. Got him anyway. There we go. Swap into Vert. Have a little story to catch up with. Like, hey, we beat you again. And now Bouquet, who is the GM, decides that she's going to ban them both. And they are no longer allowed to play video games. They're in timeout. Well, don't cheat. Yeah, but I wanted to get a surprise PB on this. Har Harlinson, two PBs in one day. Obviously, the lesson here is no glitches allowed. Yeah, no, no, no glitching the matrix. Cool. So this is we got Minotauros and then final boss left. So last two coming up. Uh, we do have a, an awesome ending AMV that just comes in. Let me say goodbye to them. Thanks for playing. You learned your lesson. We still have to worry about the Demon King, though. I'm like, yeah, we beat him, though. He's not going to come. So we get this banging anime outro. I'm going to step away for a second. Sloa is going to sing the ending theme for you. Sloa, there you go, buddy. Oh, look, a distraction. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Like, so this isn't the ending of the story, but like, here's some credits. Have them. Like, it makes no sense. Get myself a nice can of sparkling water. Shout outs to the Sarah subs in chat with a Sarah can. Oh yeah, there, what um Metroid found a new trick. So there is a new glitch in Metroid for any percent, I believe. Exactly, Wes. Who doesn't love a good bit of nap? Like it's it's like I said earlier, these are actually really fun games if you let go of the fact that yes, it is a bunch of like there's a lot of negative connotations to this. Microsoft account problem, get out of here. Get get shh, shh, get out of here. Go away. Shh. Don't have time for you. All right, so yeah, you get this like little musical outro, I guess, and <laughs> it's like, all right, you did it, good job. So mine's grandma comes in and tell her, you know, I hope you learned your lesson. And it just kind of drops you back in. So <laughs> there's still more story. Basically, there is a wanted poster we saw earlier for Minotauros and the Dark Knight. Uh, so we still have to go fight those two, and they are a little bit trickier. Um, and we're going to start using some new techniques. Um, so we can stop just spamming everything. All right, I'm fully loaded up there. I'm going to grab the Warrior of Adversity, who is the Minotaur. So we're taking a trip back to Chrono Wasteland. We're going to get the... 
yeah, these games aren't supposed to be taken seriously. They're supposed to be fun, lighthearted, and comical because they're very comical. They also completely disregard the fourth wall, and there's so many pop culture references in them. It is, it is quite amusing. I take my time in NEP games very seriously, though. Oof. Completely whiffed. Too much pressure, man. Too much pressure on myself here to get this trick. Wow. There it is. Wrong angle. All right, cool. So we're going to meet Minotauros here. Minotauros can be a little bit rude. Uh, he has a charge attack that if you don't really deal with it properly, he can like wipe most of your party if he decides to. Uh, so we're just going to try and subdue him as quickly as possible here. And this looks like the charge. Nope, jump attack, which is fine. I'm okay with the jump attack. Just got to be careful of the charge attack. The hearts are both level 48 already, which is really good. Vert at 46, which means this is now pretty much in the safety zone of where I want this marathon to be. This is like this is good for a marathon run here. All right, I'm back for like this. Going to town, doing some hot damage. Hot damage. Yeah, the the damage as you can see just starts to stack, and it's only gonna get. It's actually gonna get more. We're gonna start stacking more damage than that. Coming up soon once we get our. Uh, if you remember earlier in the run, that's the attack I was talking about, and that just wiped the entire team, which is not great because I need them to stay alive. Because I need their levels desperately. And I didn't want to waste a potion of protection, but I had to. It is what it is. At least I have one left. And that's Minotaurus taken care of. Um, so I'm actually not going to switch to Vert here. We're going to do something very, very different here. Uh, we are now level 47, but we're almost 48. We want to be level 48. Because at 48, Uni learns a new technique. And by golly, it's a good one. Uh, it's really good at breaking down... Uh, the break levels um it is also really really good for uh increasing our awakening gauge we mentioned that earlier but haven't really made use of it because it doesn't really matter and it hasn't mattered until right about when we unlocked the rest of the cpus that increase our awakening gauge um so we can do a lot more with it so what I'm going to do is I'm like level 47.999%. So I'm just going to knock out probably should probably only take two or three enemies here in order to get us up to level 48. Hey, we got it already. So I can just skip it. I'm going to swap flare shot for um, rapid beret and I'm going to swap out her uh, superpower gem for the faith gem, which helps build our um oh my god uh our awakening gauge a lot faster uh we will need that because we are about to start abusing the awakening abilities and they do silly amounts of damage and silly amounts of break uh, along the way here i'm just gonna grab this this is a ninja chain mail it's 1400 gold or b whatever the currency is in this game everything's gil to me um just in case anything funky or untoward should happen, that buys us like one or two more things that we might need. So we're gonna make our way over. We're about to meet the Dark Knight. He is the last evil, evil person. He's the absolute last. There's no one more evil than this guy. So we are now going to swap to Uni and we are gonna start using Rapid Beret. As you can see, she does this little air dance. It's fine, but if you look on the bottom left side of the screen, that bar is filling up, and we now have a one. So what I want to do is I want to get that up to three as quickly as possible. Like, literally as quickly as possible. And once we hit three, we can actually use an awakening attack. I'll do one more for safety here. And if you press it again, you get this awesome, it just uses all of your power like a, uh, a nice big old, I don't know, like a Kamehameha of just pure damage and You'll notice it also takes out a huge bit of the break bar. I probably could have one cycled this guy if I swapped properly, but we'll be okay. 
rather be safe than sorry. Going all out here leads to a lot of risk, like Vert dying already. Uh, so being able to keep her alive is very important because I need her to reach at least level 48. I'm hoping she can stay alive here. If not, it's no big deal. It just means I have to try a little bit harder. Green Heart's down, but she's already level 50, so it doesn't matter. This should wipe out Dark Knight, and we should be good to go. Cool. The only issue with that attack is that sometimes it can end up uh, missing, and then you kind of are stuck with that very awkward scenario of, uh, uh, and then you have to kind of recover. It actually happened in my PB. And the issue with the final boss, which we are coming up to, uh, is he has an ability to just wipe your entire party and do it multiple times in a row, and there's nothing you can do about it. So there's that. I'm gonna report this just so I can get my money in order first. I'm gonna take my time setting this up, but we are now headed to the final boss. So start to get ready for time here. I'm gonna grab Kingly Appearance, one of the best buffs in the game. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about Elder Tree Sap, but I am gonna worry about Crystalline. I am going to worry about stacking. Oops, I need to get one less there. Seeds. I'm also gonna take a quick detour to the Chaos Factory and they're just gonna be like, hey, here's some more sources of life. They're pretty handy, take two, they're small. Uh, we're going to talk to Pishi, who runs the costume shop. She is adorable. Look at her. And she makes you a cute little nep, -nep doll you can take with you and equip to your character. We're going to talk to you. You saw there are two Noirs on the stream, but there's one. Yo, what's up, Marin and PX? How we doing? We are just about to wrap this up. We're headed to Atlio City Ruins to get ready for Demon King Jester. Yeah, way underestimate. This is not as good as my PB. I did take a death in here, which is kind of a bummer, but otherwise we've been doing pretty okay. So what I'm going to do, as we've been doing the entire run, is just get to the warp point, get to the final boss, and get it over with. Uh, you know, I have confidence I'm not going to grab that. There's an extra item that's like 2,000, which I could use. I'm gonna grab these extra potions of protection and I have to do a quick little item menu revamp to get set up for what we're gonna be using. And then we will be good to go and we'll swap to Uni. So I'm just gonna take care of that really quick and it's gonna do this, this, I'll take this, this, this. That should be fine. And we're gonna swap to Uni and I, oops, wanna do this too. I can't see with that in my face, there we go. All right, perfect, everything is set up, we are 49. And here it is. Who owns that lovely voice? I'm Kyo's little monster. Yo, also shout outs to Nep Subs. I'll just stare back at it. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Narp. Like he is such a nice guy. Like he's he really loves this series, and that's why I enjoy it. Like they're like like I said, people that don't take this game seriously understand how fun it is. Why is there? Why did you bring a potato to bed with you? Because why not? Dude, my cat's so weird. This weeb fest. Excuse you. This is a fine example of Japanese action role-playing games, glitchless speedruns. How, how dare you, sir? All right, so get ready for time. It's probably within, this fight should literally maybe take me a minute and a half, maybe a little bit less, two minutes worst case scenario. All right, so we're just gonna do basically the same thing we did um, and hope that I don't get a bad damage cycle or miss on my awakening shots. If you do, you, if I do, you'll know. Last chance to get donations in to make so slow us sing the final ending song. Time is on fade to black after this boss, just as a heads up. In other words, you know, for me, you know, last night donations in so I can make another distraction, obviously. How are we looking at time-wise? Uh, we are at 132 right now. Ooh, man, I am slow. I'm already four minutes behind PB. That's all right, that death really hurt. Oof. Oof. He is not being a friend right now. Well, I can't die anymore, so this is ugly right now. Like, this is not where I want to be, but he just wouldn't... Oh, I know why. I forgot to put regular attacks in.
This is fine. This is fine. Don't worry about it. I have it all under control. I promise. Just need him to stay exactly where he is, or this is actually going to be ugly. This is fine in the chat. Yep. Nah, that was fine. I just had a lot of bad things happen at once. I had uh, one of the girls go down. I went down. It was just not a good time. I need those to stay completely left of me. Thank you. Okay, this is not good. That is exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Oof. That's KO. Nothing I can do about that. Just got lucky. Yeah, we lost time. All right, cool. So I'm just going to sell stuff off as a backup here. Hey, why not get unlucky at a marathon, right? Wouldn't be a true marathon, by the way. We're still going to be underestimate because I'm just... Yeah, there we go. Get rid of all of that. Rebuy this buff here. Just enough money to grab exactly what I needed. All right, so the fun part is I can just load literally right back into the boss battle. It just like literally starts you out. Hey, here's the boss battle, go. So there, that's the correct start. So everything should be fine from here on out. Don't worry about it, it is all under control. Should be pretty much enough to bring this right around to an end. That should be almost enough damage. Let's go. I just need the girls to tank up for me here. And that's done. I just got a bad cycle and I opened incorrectly. But hey, this is fine. And time coming up in three, two, one. Time. Bad luck is my middle name, always. That's all right, though. I had fun with it. What do we end up with? Probably like a 136, 135? Um, sorry, one second. <sighs> it's bad. Yeah, like a, one thir like a 136 right on the nose. Not terrible. Could have been better. Six minutes off of PB. But hey, thanks for the opportunity. Super, super appreciated. Glad you guys had a good time. Uh, well, so anything to say about this fabulous game? Nothing, nothing to say, Sloa. Oh, it's I'm sorry. Someone said something. If I have anything to say, I had to say... Nep, nep. Nep, nep. Nep, 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 nep. But yeah, hi, I'm Kios. Thank you for, uh, thank you for wasting hi, your night with me playing this ridiculous game. Um, if you guys want to get into speedrunning this game, uh, we do have a Discord. Uh, it is... Hold on, let me see if I can pull it up. It is the official name is the Neptunia Speedruns and Gaming Community, I believe. Uh, all the games are broken down, marathons, marathon speedruns, main series, remakes, remakes plus, spin-offs, etc., etc. Feel free to pop in, say hi. We're quite the friendly bunch. Please, please, please enjoy. And if you would like to follow the runner... Oh, yeah, I, I guess you could do that. that. I don't know if you want to do that, but if you'd like to follow him... Yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for having us. Super, super appreciated. Sloa, thanks for hosting the marathon, y'all. Don't forget to save the doggos. 
We waste money on a lot of things. Skip your Starbucks today. Just give five bucks to save the dogs. Yeah. As simple as one dollar can make a big difference. But, uh, we're gonna get the next run in. Everybody drive safe. Yeah. Make sure to drink your orange juice or something like that. Hey, we did it. Don't know if anyone can still hear me, but hi, everybody. Hope you enjoyed.